What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Seven Tech once again, and welcome to episode 14 of Mining Rig Wars. The winner for series four was Crypto Closet, so congratulations. Look forward to an email. I'll be requesting your preferred payment method and all of that good stuff. For the rest of you all, be sure to vote for your favorite rig from this week's episode up here in the corner with the exclamation point. Clicking down will bring up a poll and you can just select rig A, B, C, D, or E. And we're gonna go over those right now in the first episode of 2018. Welcome back. The first rig is Rig A GTX 7 by Moses. We got seven EVGA GTX 1060 Super Super Clocks. We have a single RX 1000X Corsair power supply running on an Asus Z170 Pro motherboard with four gigabytes of DDR4, a Celeron G3900, and he's running the T module risers. I'm not sure what version though. And his total hash rate is 165 mega hash a second with dual mining DCR at 5.88 giga hash a second. The reason I have to mention that is he is obviously running it in a dual mining kind of environment, meaning that that's going to affect the Ethereum hash rate. Next, we have Rig B Bunny by Nilesh. He's rocking the Gigabyte H110 D3A motherboard. I've been seeing those a little bit more just because they're available. Uh, with the GeForce GTX 1066 gigabyte with Hynix memory from gigabyte, a Samsung SSD 128 gigabyte uh, solid state drive, obviously redundant there. Uh, the Corsair Cooler Master 1000 watt power supply, an ADATA 4 gigabyte stick of memory, and the G4400 processor. And yes, welcome to the G4400 Club. 950 solutions a second on this rig looks like he has three of those gtx 1060s by the way next we have rig c silent killer by mark he is rocking the asrock h81 pro btc motherboard with two msi rx 580 gaming x gpus and one asus gtx 1070 overclocked edition an Intel Celeron G1820T processor, 8 gigabytes of DDR3, and a 240 gigabyte solid state drive from SanDisk. He has two Seasonic Platinum power supplies, Platinum 520s that is, and he's got four Noctua NFS12A uh, fans, 120 millimeter, and he's running Windows 10 Pro and he's using Claymore to mine at 90 mega hash a second. Next we have Rig D Miner 2 by Armand and he is rocking a G4400 as well with the Biostar TB250 BTC motherboard. He's got four gigabytes of memory from Kingston and a WD Green 128 gigabyte solid state drive with a Corsair RM1000X power supply and six Asus Strix RX 570s, the four gigabyte models with 166 mega hash a second. He did send over quite a few other rigs. I tried to pick one that I felt had the clearest pictures, etc. I know that going over some of the big uh, mining farms is cool, but when we only have the rest of these rigs as single rigs, I didn't feel like throwing in an entire farm here. Finally, we have Rig E Othello by Allen. He's rocking the Thermaltake Core P5 case. I have one right over here, but I have my gaming rig in it with the modifications. And yes, I would say there's some modifications going on there. Uh, he's rocking the EVGA 1600 watt T2 titanium power supply and ASRock H110 Pro BTC plus motherboard and 13 EVGA GTX 1060 super clock six gigabyte cards and he's got an hdmi dummy plug for headless operation of course that means that he's just using the dummy plug to go ahead and get a screen output for remote management is what i would assume there he's got the netgear hs 110 smart plug for monitoring and he's rocking eth os 
uh, version 1.2.5, which that may have changed with him with a whopping 301 mega hash a second. All right, so let's go back through these. <laughs> Alan, crazy setup here. This is nuts. I would like to see like all of the mounting behind it. The two pictures you sent didn't really show how you're getting those to like stay mounted. I'd be super curious to see that. Also 1600 watts with 13 EVGA GTX 1060s. I, I guess, yeah, that's probably actually fine because you only need, well, maybe a hundred short, but not really if you got it all clocked in, etc. which I'm sure you do. Curious why you are only using EthOS because EthOS is going to lock you down to Ethereum, of course, now, I, or Ethereum algos. So maybe check out using something like SMOS and open, your, open yourself up to some Equihash. Come help us out on BTCZ at coins.sonofatech.com. Self, say shameless self-promotion. Shameless, shameless. Rick D, I love the RX 570s in here. Six of them, I'm jelly because I can't really get them for a decent price back in the day when you could get them for $165. Those were the good days. Nevertheless, the hash rate is, is super impressive if you got those at retail, of course. Uh, if you overpaid, it depends on how much you overpaid, of course. Uh, what rig are you running? Is that just custom angle aluminum that you went and picked up from the hardware store? Or did you buy a frame on the interwebs? Rig C Silent Killer. I'm not sure what's so silent about this rig. Other than are those silent fans by Noctua? Or it's the silent killer, so you're killing silence, which would make more sense for a mining rig. That's what I'm going with there. It looks like you have some work to do to fill out the rest of the rig, and you have enough room, of course, as well, with that ASRock H81 being your motherboard. So you got a good starting platform here, which is awesome. I think you have a lot of room to expand and, of course, increase your hash rate as you move along. I'm curious, are you going to kind of move into splitting AMD and NVIDIA rigs? I, I found that that's a little bit more reliable, but of course, while you're filling it out right now, I guess you're just going to have to pick up what you got to pick up. Claymore is the easiest for using AMD and NVIDIA together on Windows 10. I don't know of really any other options that work as as well as that any other operating systems if you guys know leave it in the comment section below so we can all help each other out rigby bunny is a is a great name and i love the custom i guess wall mounted rack here wall mounted gpu enclosure the exhaust fan i think i can see up there makes a little bit of sense to me so i think or makes good sense to me I'm not sure exactly what that is. Can we get like the part number or what you used there for that exhaust system you got going on there? And you as well have uh, plenty of options to go ahead and expand. You have three uh, 1060s currently on a board that should support up to six, no problem. Maybe even more with some expansions. Good base here to start out with. And mining, of course, with 950 solutions a second. So I'm assuming here you're on Equihash, Zcash, etc. Good selection on for well, Hynix memory, of course, at this point. And then back to the beginning where it all began. This week we had GTX 7 Rig A, and this is a great, perfect starter build. If you guys are looking for an example, here's what you want to look for. Seven of some type of car. GTX 1060s right now are great options because they seem to come back into stock a little bit more often than say RX 580s or 570s. The power supply should be plenty as seven GTX 1060s would be pushing around 850, well, 850 to 950, somewhere in between there. So a thousand watts should give you just enough overhead, especially if you down, of course, turn the power limit down, etc. The Asus Z170 Pro could allot you possibly with an M.2 adapter, one more card, but you're pretty ma much maxed out here at this point. Good min-maxing on this. Four gigabytes of RAM, awesome. G3900, probably cheaper than a G4400, depending on the day and the time, of course. Perfect work, I love it. 165 mega hash a second, 
those are my thoughts on all of these rigs. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to vote. Don't forget to vote because we need that to keep this show on the road. Don't forget to check out the rest of the episodes of Mining Rig Wars that you may have missed, including last week's episode of the finals for Series 4. Hope to see you guys next week at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And until then, I'll see you next Tuesday.